What is your role in the offseason for the Knicks with the draft? You know, I kind of. Free agency. I think, uh, you know, my part in free agency is is to paint the picture from a coach's standpoint of what the Knicks are becoming and, you know, try to, to really make players understand the type of relationship I'm trying to build as a coach with them and the type of team we're trying to build moving forward. Uh, ultimately to win a title and showing that from a coach's perspective. You know, with the with our guys, I, I turn back into a player development coach, you know, with the guys that we have on the roster. And, you know, like last week, and I don't know how many kids are actually in the gym with their coaches right now, but Kevin Knox wanted to get back in the gym. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> and I don't know how many kids in April, you know, this was in April and this kid is like, coach, let's do it. And he and I went into the gym for the whole week and I just went back into assistant coach mode and, you know, got the bags and started hitting them and, and drilling them and going through the whole deal. And, uh, you know, for me, it, it rejuvenates me when I do that. Uh, here's a hypothetical. Let's say there, there's a seven-footer out there, and he's he, like he lives on the West Coast. And and you were a great shooter, one of the great shooters maybe. Yeah, he was looking for a new team to play for. How would you make that free agent pitch to just an unnamed seven-footer <laughs> who's an unbelievable scorer who lives in the Bay Area? I'm not giving no you names. All. There's no names there. But you know, Dan, I'm not going to play my hand right now. Oh, okay. All you right. know, it's, t- it's things that we're, people are we're in competition with. You know, I don't want to mm. necessarily mm. hand out our our cards. You if know? you win the lottery, yes. Let's say you won the lottery. Mm-hmm. You know who you're taking? If we win the lottery, yeah. do I know who we're taking? Yeah. Yes. Paulie, bring out Zion Williamson yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your poker face there? Did you see it? No, no. I, I, I thought you were trying to give me a poker face. I held on pretty tough. No, though, you right didn't. No, 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 no. That, no, was, no. Strong, that was not South Central. Come on. That was that was San Diego. That was, yeah. <laughs> that was soft is what that was. That so was straight to the beach yeah. with flip-flops. Yeah. And <laughs> Although, you know, I look at the Phoenix Suns and Ja Morant may fit their team better than Zion would. So I'm curious about that. Does Zion fit everybody? You know, Cavaliers, obviously. But if you look at how he would fit on the Knicks, does he make the most sense for you? He's got the biggest brand, but... I mean, I think just for us, um, you know, our roster is so open um, from that standpoint that we can have a lot of things fit us right now. Obviously, you know, we always want the biggest talent. You know, you, you want to you seek uh, electric players. And, and both of those guys you just named are that. They're electric. You know, when you watch them play. Who does Zion remind you of? No one. That's interesting because we always look for player comps because John Morant is like D. Wade to me. Too thin. But he, he attacks the hoop. He might be a better outside shooter than D. Wade. Yeah. Better passer than point. D. Wade. Um, but, yeah, you're right. I mean, D. Wade was built. But Zion, we, we keep saying, well, he's like Charles Barkley. He's like LeBron. He's like... And I said, I, I don't know if he's like those guys. He's his own guy. Yeah. He's unique. When do you get a chance to talk to these guys? That stuff's coming up. Uh, we got Chicago pre-draft camp coming in, uh, I want to say, a week and a half, two weeks, where we see a lot of these other guys go through draft workouts. We interview with them. We do that stuff. And then right at the end of the month, we'll start bringing guys in to work out uh, and eventually, you know, meet with those top guys. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.